Hi, welcome to Goku Pro UK. I'm Derek, and hopefully you have seen a few of my videos before, so you'll know that we uh, are the UK distributor for uh, Goku Pro and My Screen Digital Screen Makers. And what I'm going to do today is I've got a brand new uh, My Screen. We sold our uh, last demo machine because uh, we were waiting on new ones coming in, and a customer was desperate. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unbox this and just show you how easy it is to um, make a, um, get out of the box, make a screen and away we go. So today I'm going to just print a wee bit of artwork here, I don't know if you can see that on there. I've already created a piece of artwork, which is fine. Um, and we're just going to take this uh, machine out of the box and we'll show you how it all comes together. So you get uh, an instruction sheet. A Japanese instruction sheet and then we get our uh, manual which tells you all about uh, how the machine works uh, very simple to use I oh, can't even open the packet so we get a my screen user guide which has a simple operation and gives you the details of how you'll make it and then we have a printer driver software as well um, which works for Mac or PC um, if you check our website it tells you all the different um, uh, versions of software you can use it with and then inside here we have um, power supply which generally doesn't come with the main lead to the mains and then we have the actual my screen itself bit of cardboard and here is the my screen so uh, just open this up forgot how well packed these were for you So, a couple of bits of tape come off. He said, Oh dear, this may take longer than I thought it was going to. Anyway, a couple of bits of tapes come off, and then we are virtually ready to go. Now, I've actually got loaded on my um, laptop the software already. So I'm not going to go to the extent of um, installing the software, but it really is just drop the CD drive in and away you go. The only thing I would say is if the um, if you have a modern Mac or a modern uh, PC laptop and it doesn't have a drive, then um, you can download the driver software from the internet and we can give you a link directly to that so it's, it's not something you need to worry about uh, very easy and you can put it on as many machines as you want say you were working in a studio then you could put it on different machines and that would be fine anyway i've already installed uh, another version and the beauty of this is it works with any um machine should do i'm taking a chance here today Anyway, we've now got our uh, little driver, we've got our piece of artwork, and all I'm going to do is drag this over, hopefully. Oh. If only I knew how to work my Apple Mac, eh? But I'm going to do it another way, because uh, this has been a bit funny, and it's a newer Mac, I don't know how to do it. So we'll just go choose image, and we go to my desktop, Documents and we go to my screen artwork, Bob Art. Now it brings in the artwork. Now, as you can see, well, hopefully, you can see the artwork is um, the wrong way around. So we just come over here and we just rotate it and then we just do a uh, fit to page and it fills the whole page with my bobber. Now, I'm going to do this one on the side. Uh, and then once we've done that, we just do send image to print. 
and right away the image was flashing on here and it's ready to go. Now, the um, we've got our screen. When it first arrives, you're going to need to get some double sided tape and put it along the inside edge of the frame. The frame has uh, an arrow on the outside and you just put double sided tape which comes in the pack. This is the starter pack that comes with it. Uh, so you get all this with the machine. And you get a squeegee, you get tape and you get a frame and a backboard and you get some masters as well. Uh, so you get all that with uh, ready to go. So basically I've got a, a master here and the masters come, they've got mesh on one side and a, a coating on the other side and it's the coating that gets melted away to create the screen. So the coating's slightly shinier so it's S to S, shiny to sticky and you just put the master down onto the double sided tape turn it around we do the other side and once you've done a few of these you get the hang of them they're not they don't take very long and you can uh, get your screens tensioned just take it up a wee bit you can peel it back off again if it's a bit loose um or if it's got now this has got a bit of a wrinkle in it uh, so all i'll do is i'll just pop that off and i'll just tease it out and that takes away that wrinkle so the artwork as i say has been sent to the my screen let me just bring this over and that artwork will stay in the my screen until i send another one or until we switch the machine off there's two lugs and pins, a big one and a small one. You put this in so that it's the, the, the right way around. He said, doing it the wrong way around. There's an arrow on the frame and an arrow on the my screen, which you line up. You press down and hold and the my screen goes through and the thermal head is burning away the image that is uh, from your computer. Doesn't matter how much you've got, if it sees a black line, then it's burning away that image uh, on the master. And I can see it's coming out lovely, which is fantastic. Now, I'm not sure if we'll see this on here, but you can see that there is an image been burnt out onto the master. So what we do is we've got our carousel and I have set up my, uh, let's just turn this a wee touch for you, I've set up the um, a palette long ways and I'm going to print this long ways. The squeegee you get with the my screen kit is actually for working in this direction, it's a short one. But we are going to need a longer one because it's going in this direction. I have a little bit of a packer in my carousel. And that's because these screens are very thin. The frame is very, very thin. So it makes sense to just have a little bit of packing in there um, to stop the clamp bottoming out. There we go. We have some ink. Uh, let's just see. We have a t-shirt. Sorry for uh, you watching my back, but uh, just get this lined up. When we're at this stage, we really are just at screen printing. Uh, there's not really any difference to um, any other form of screen printing. It 
did I do with my squeegee, my, here we go, my spatula. And I've got a little bit of a water base stink here, um, blue water base stink, which is quite a nice colour. I'm just going to pop this down. In fact, it's a lovely colour, I have to say. Very nice indeed. So we get a squeegee. One nice steady pull. Put that on the side. And there we have our first screen printed t-shirt, which is quite nice. It's got all this lovely detail um, and it's uh, ideal. So then we can just carry on. That would need to be heat cured. Um, oh, I thought I had a piece of paper here. So you can just carry on and print to your heart's content. So there we go. So that just shows you how quick and easy it is to come from opening the box and popping it in. Okay, you would have to load the software, which I didn't do, but it's so easy. And there's, um, if you're working in a class or in a university, um, guys can be just popping their artwork on, sending it through, and within no time they can all have their own individual artwork and they can be uh, creating printed items in no time at all so that's the my screen you can see all the details on the website www.gocopro.co.uk um drop drop us a line and we'll uh, we'll see if we can help you out in any way thank you hi i, I just came back here i'm adding this on the end of the video because i realized that i didn't do my cleanup and um, so i printed a few different uh, shirts uh, with this and then I realised that um, uh, oh I never showed you how to clear up when you're finished and that's another amazing advantage with uh, my screen or any of the GoCo Pros because the screens are disposable you can use them if you want to you can wash them out in water and um, if it's a water-based thing you can wash them out use them again take them off do whatever but uh, in general, what you would do is you would just take the screen off, um, the, the double-sided tape, and you just fold that up, and we put that in the bin. And that's our wash-up. So we've not needed to do wash-out booths and any of that sort of stuff. It's just so quick and so easy, both in setup and then in clean down as well. All I do is put a new screen on there, bang, I'm, all, I'm ready to go. So this is a consumable. And some people uh, think, oh no, that'll be expensive, I don't want to throw it away. But there's now, this is in my shed here today, you know, there's there's no need for any of these items to be kept. You don't need to do it. You keep all your artwork on your computer, then you just print out a new screen when you're ready to go. Um, build that cost into your uh, selling price for your customers um, or for your artwork cost. Uh, job done it is not expensive and it's so super quick that it just works so easy so i think i'm done this time i think i've done enough um catch you later thanks very much for watching